الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علی وصحب وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله ان اوثنتك حديث عن عبد الله بن عمرو بن عاص رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الكبائر اشراك بالله وعكوك والدين وقتل النفس واليمين الغموس رواه بخاري in this hadith in uh, Bukhari the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As رضي الله تعالى he uh, he said he heard the messenger of Allah the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say the major sins are shirk billah committing shirk polytheism being disobedient to parents killing oneself or killing a uh, killing a person qatl nafs and bearing false testimony. Ahabatifillah, this shows us some of the major sins. Some of the major sins that a Muslim must strive their utmost to avoid by all means. And being the greatest of them, a'va minhum, the worst of them as a criminal offense or as an offense and as a sin, is associating a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shirk. Worshipping along with Allah, someone or something, or worshipping other than Allah, someone or something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fee Kitab al-Kareem, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik li yasha. Verily, Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. And the second sin from those major sins the Prophet والسلام, warned his ummah about was being disobedient to parents. That should be a lesson for our youth that after shirk, one of the greatest sins that a person can do is being disobedient to parents. And how do we know this from the Quran? The Quran also illustrates that the opposite, al mafhum mukhalifa, which is backed up, of course, by nas, the ultimate nas, which is the kalam of Allah, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he mentions tawheed along with being obedient to parents. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْنٍ Worship Allah alone and do not associate any partners with Him. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And with, and, and, and to the parents be righteous, every form of ihsan. Be righteous and obedient to your parents. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that with tawheed. I can't remember the beginning of the ayah. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that along with tawheed, he mentions that haq of the parents. So being obedient to parents is such a great such a, 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 a serious right 
to honor and respect and fulfill that Allah mentioned it along with his haq. Haq Allah al la The right of Allah is that you worship him and him alone and you do not associate partners with him. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's right. And showing us the opposite in, in accordance with this hadith that disobedience to the parents, aquqa walidain, is one of the major sins. And it was mentioned right after shirk, letting us know that tawheed and obedience to parents are deeds of the righteous and characteristics of the believers. And shirk and disobedience to the parents are characteristics of Ahl al-Kufr, of the people of disbelief and the people of sinfulness and wickedness. And then the Prophet ﷺ mentioned وَقَتَلَ nafs, Showing us that that's a major sin to kill people unjustly. To be unjust and kill. Whether that be the evil wicked shayateen from the Khawarij doing suicide bombings. Whether that uh, be the all the various ways people commit the sin of killing. And that shows that Islam does not condone that. It's a major sin, as the Prophet ﷺ said. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fi kitab al -kirin. And then the Prophet ﷺ mentioned and false testimony. You know, saying that you were somewhere or bearing witness, signing, forgery, any of those things can fall under to that, under that. That this is a type of false testimony and that this is a major sin so it's imperative that we remember that and we try to practice that even if it seems like it'll be something in our favor or the favor of our loved ones or the favor of our friends or whatever or to incur favor that we should avoid that at all costs and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from all the sins the major and the minor